okay so let's discuss today about uh, what is blockchain and how is blockchain actually helping would be helping the field of pharmacovigilance we all belong to the field of pharmacy we are very much aware of how pharmacovigilance actually works that before a drug is released into the market it has to go through a lot of clinical trials then after that the the adverse reactions which are reported are monitored then it, it goes into the databases which uh, flows from the regional database then to the national and then to the global database after that the regulatory bodies come into picture and then they decide if the drug is safe enough to be released or uh, it, it should it be taken back if it is already there in the market so this is a whole lot of procedure which pharmacovigilance takes place okay then how would uh, blockchain help us in that blockchain is basically now let me introduce blockchain again to you blockchain is something which is uh, working by de decentralization mechanism so anything which is cutting out the entire step wise process and making it whole lot similar by real time mechanism that is something which is very good because blockchain what what is blockchain doing it is actually connecting every process which i just told you into one single step and every data is shared in real time like within seconds whatever is happening in the clinical trials is immediately reported to the regulatory bodies right as well as this information is shared with the local regional and global databases so now you get this point if the drug if somebody is uh, facing any kind of an adverse reaction then before uh, earlier it used to flow through all these steps of adr reporting and then investigators go through the case and then it goes to the databases and then uh, we are deciding on that by the regulatory bodies come into picture it would be so much easy that if in the beginning of the stage like as in when the clinical trials are being performed and the adverse reactions are reported if at that very moment the regulatory bodies are knowing about it they can straight away restrict the clinical trials there so no you know you know how much time saving it is it is saving a huge lot of time because uh, there are many companies who are also manipulating the results see to be very very honest there are a lot of companies who are manipulating the results of the patients in fact the patient data is also being lost so that is also one good question which is taken into picture that patients are very much worried they were they were uh, like previous year there was there were so many millions of databases which were breached uh, through the pv processes because the data is going through a process which is not very secure but blockchain comes into picture and everything is very securely being transmitted so we are addressing the query of security here second we are addressing the query of time consumption it is very easy to follow that a very less amount of time is being used i hope if you are uh clear with the idea of pharmacovigilance then you understand how much time it takes a query is reported sent to the investigators goes through a hell lot of process of crossing through the databases supposing there is some kind of an adverse reaction is already reported in some part of the world and another same kind of a trial is being performed in another part of the country before that adverse reaction is listed and brought into the database we are already performing the same reaction with the same drug belonging to the same company in some other part of the world so what if the data is shared real time like within seconds whenever something is happening here is known to everybody to like every global database as well as to the regulatory bodies we can stop it right there if it's very serious and uh, we can easily time save time on that so time saving is a big big asset of blockchain in pharmacovigilance then we say privacy data privacy there is no breaching of data everything is very securely flowing through the network is again an important process and we know that a lot of companies are influencing the patient outcomes so again whatever is being reported is straight away going to the regulatory bodies there is no picture of uh, hiding any kind of an outcomes here and lastly what i can say is patients are also very much aware of what the next step would be so they are also very sure and uh, honestly we are sharing every steps with them of what stage they are going through what whatever is happening in the pv process how how the adverse reactions are reported what is the immediate action that has to be done so everything is very much uh, hopeful in that and uh, pfizer wipro and a lot of companies are talking about it vigilance which will be the near future blockchain would be the near future of the vigilance industries so yeah